What's up guys, it's Dream Sketch here with my second tutorial and today it's on how to do a smash text effect. So in this video we'll be doing one like this here. It's a really nice effect which stands out and you can use it in many different ways in a logo or in a background. So first what you'd want to do, go file, new and for this video I'm going to be using 1920 by width and by height 1080 let's copy exactly what I've done here click OK so first of all just unlock this background layer and what you want to do is make the background colour black so now change it to white and add your text you can make the text what you want but for today I'm just going to do GFX so GFX oh wrong you can use whatever text you want I'm going to be using the uh, Batman Forever and if just uh, if you'd like this just put it in the comments below and I'll add a link to the text so you got to do is write GFX Mine's really small, so make it to the size that you want. S center it into the page. That looks okay. So now you, what you want to do is go to the side here and third icon down, there's this tool. Lasso tool, polygonal tool and magnetic tool. You'd want to choose the polygonal tool. And before you do that, you want to go over to the GFX layer. Right click and rasterize type this is important so now you can start cutting out the little pieces like shown here so all you like to do is make little triangle cutouts anywhere you want go up here to the move tool and just move out of position and then just keep going round and round doing this as many times as you want So, so all you got to do is keep going around, adding this, and eventually you'll get the effect. So I'm just going to speed this up now, guys, because it takes a long time, and I'll be back in a second. and now we're back so what you'd want to do now is don't do that for a start move to the move tool and now what you do is make the texture on the letters so I'll add these download links in the description and it will look like this it's a scratchy surface so if I just minimize this Put that down, move this across. Oh no. Ah, I've done that wrong. Go back into your pictures. What we're going to do is drag and drop this picture into Wader. And what you want to do is you'd want to make this the size of the text so, so the scratches aren't too big but they're noticeable. So once you've done that, just click enter and then go up here to this drop down bit and change the mode into multiply and then that goes into the text. So now what you'd want to do is make the cutout bit stand out a bit more. So if you go to the magic wand tool hold down shift oh 
Go to school on that. Oh yeah. Make sure you click the text layer. Hold shift. And then click every cast out piece. Not every but the majority of the cast out pieces that you have made. So just keep going round and round. So now what to do is click Control J, and that duplicates the layer. And now on the layer that you've just duplicated, go to Outer Glow, change the color to black, turn the opacity up to 100%, and blend mode to normal. And you can change the size of the spread to whatever you want. I'm gonna put the size up to about 50 and the spread to about 10. Let's check how that looks. Yeah, that looks nice. You could possibly add a drop shadow if you want, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to. And now we're gonna go back into our pictures. And again, I will leave this glass mask download link in the description. And the same thing applies. Put it in the middle of your text. Click Enter. This time, change the mode to Screen. And there you go. So you just position this to wherever you want. And that is how you make the broken glass or smash text effect in Photoshop CS6. So please like, comment and favourite this video, it, I really value your opinion and see you later.